Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you some items that I picked up from Ulta. Um, I had received an email with 20% off my next purchase and I was like, oh, dang. Because that morning I had gotten an email from someone with the uh, Sephora Employee Appreciation Discount. So I had both discounts. I'm like, hmm. Which one do I use? And I was like, heck with it. I'm going to use them both. I get something from Ulta and I get something from Sephora. So, Ulta had some items that I've had my eyes on for quite some time. And I was debating on which one to get. Well, I just said heck with it. And I bought all three. I got my Ulta order and I got my Sephora order all in on the same day. Both boxes arrived on UPS. And I was so excited, so I'm going to show you my Ulta one first. And that way I can show you what I got and show you some swatches. But yeah, guys, let's check out what I got. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I'm a blush fanatic. I love blush palettes especially. And so, Ulta had all three of the blush palettes that I've been wanting recently and I picked up all three I got two Anastasia blush palettes and then I got the Tarte so let's jump into this Tarte one first this one this is the packaging this one came in this year and it is $39 which is $116 retail value but this is what the palette looks like it is gold and then underneath that gold there is like this purple, this really pretty bright purple. And then it says Tarte right here in the center. The back is gold and just says Blush Bliss because this is the Blush Bliss palette. That is really hard to say because I keep wanting to say Blush Bitch, Blush Bitch. That's what wants to come out of my mouth. That's the Blush Bliss. I say that really fast like three times. I can't, I can't, blush, 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 I, I, I can't, I can't do it, but anyway, when you open it up, there is a mirror, and this is your palette, now it comes with four pans now, uh, used to, they came with five, because I have a, I pulled a couple of them out here, that I've gotten in past, uh, holidays, and they had four, five blushes in them and I loved that so much and the blush sizes are a little bit smaller now like this was 44 and this was 39 so for five five more dollars each pan was bigger and you got an extra blush so I don't know what's going on there but do you see the difference and then, like, I think this was last year's, and then the year before, or a couple years before that, it was this one, and it also had five. This is, like, my favorite. Oh, I love this thing. I use this a lot. But, I mean, it's changed, and then it went to, it got a little bit smaller. We had the Tarte Lip Blush Palette, which is pretty much the same. See, it's the same. Not the same shades, but the same size. But regardless, I love these palettes. I love these palettes. So look at this. Is this not pretty? And it has the name of the shades on here. We have, uh, I think something covers. We have right here, we have Genuine, which is a pinky apricot. And then we have, uh, breathtaking and it's a soft rosy pink and then this one is graceful and it is a shimmering pink coral and then we have lovable right here and it is a pink melon but this is really pretty I really like this and at 20% off I like it even more but I really do like this um I used this yesterday. I used um, Breathtaking right here. I really, really like it. I really like it. But 
Let me swatch these okay. for you. Here are your shades. We have Genuine, Breathtaking, Graceful, and then we have Lovable. And like I said, Graceful, in the pan, you can see glitter on it. But when you swatch it, there is zero glitter on that swatch. So I like that a lot. Oh, look at this. I love this. I love Tarte blushes. I have I have quite a few. I have um, quite a few of their palettes. I have the big book of blushes. I have a lot of the small ones that you can buy. And then they come out with them every year at Christmas. I get those sets. And I depot them and put them in Z palettes. But I like this. So that is the Tarte one. Yes, I would recommend that one. Definitely. I'll give it a thumbs up. And then I picked up two of the Anastasia Beverly Hill blush kits. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. I've looked at this one for a long time. And then when this one came out, I've been eyeing it quite a bit. So, we'll talk about this one first. This is what the box looks like. You flip it around. This says blush kit. It actually has your shades and stuff on here. And when you take it out of the box, this is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the box. But um, it's a really heavy-duty cardboard. I really like that. It's got a slick feel to it. It says blush kit, and this is the radiant. And, it, you know, it looks like a smaller version of the glow kits. Um, on the back, I mean, it looks identical to the box. It has your set shade names on the back. And when you open it up, you have a small mirror. And then you have these gorgeous blushes. Ugh. I like this. They have this one, which is radiant. And then they have a deeper, darker one, which is called gradient. I'd like to have it also because it's really pretty. But I, I think I really like this. So, let me tell you what the shades are. We have this one. It actually goes this way. This is what it looks like. But to keep the mirror away, I'm going to do it this way. So, we have this right here. It's called Spoiled. And it's a, um, it is a cool, a cool pink with gold sparkles like you can see it sparkling and then we have this one which is I'm not very good at seeing it uh, coastline and coastline is a coral pink color and then we have breeze which is a satin rose. And then we have Terrace, which is a satin crimson peach. So these three here are all satin. This one has some gold sparkle to it. It's really, really, really pretty. Okay. Here are your blushes. We have, what did I say? S uh, spoiled. Then we have Coastline, and we have Breeze, and we have Terrace. And Spoil, it has glitter in the pan, but there's no glitter on my hand. So that's good. I like that. But I really like this. I really like this a lot. So I picked up that one, and this retails for $30. And like I said, they have two different ones, and I really think I want the other one. And then we have the Anastasia Blush Trios. I think there might be a total of five different ones, but this one is Peachy Love. This is the one that caught my eye. This one and another, but this one I was just like, I really love those peachy colors. So I picked up this one, and let me show you what this looks like. Look at this. That is so pretty. It says Anastasia Beverly Hills in rose gold. And it's like, 
it's like a 3D effect underneath this top layer is the Anastasia um, trademark symbol and if you move it around you can see it under there I will see if I can get a good picture of it and show you and then when you turn it around it just says blush trio full pigmented blush for buildable intensity with a seamless finish and then it says peachy love and it gives you the actual um, shade names which is nectarine ginger and Miami and then when you open this, it has a little push button here, and you push it in, it opens, you have a mirror, and then you have these gorgeous blushes. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Okay, so this one here is called Nectarine, and it is a matte dusty peach. And then you have Ginger, which is a matte toasted coral, and then you have my Amy, which is a matte bright peach with gold sparkle. So let's watch these. That is really pretty. Oof. Look at my Amy. Where's that? Right here. My Amy is so pretty. So this is my Amy ginger and nectarine really pretty i really like those i don't know if i will ever wear ginger but i knew that i would wear um nectarine in miami there was no doubt in my mind when i seen this palette that i that i would i knew i would wear those too but I really, really like these. These are just, I think they're so pretty. This retails for $30. Um, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to pay $10 a shade for it. But now that I have it, I think I want some more. Um, I, don't, I don't know if this is true, but I read somewhere that somebody had posted that they were going to discontinue these. I hope not, but that they would would be going for half price pretty soon. I, I just read that. I don't know if it's true. It was somebody commented on a post when I was watching swatches and reviews of these and they commented that um, these were going to be discontinued. So I hope not. I mean they're fairly new but if so I want them all. Especially at half price. But I don't think I'm going to wait to find out could because Sephora's got another 20% coming off what in November so I'm pretty excited about that because I know what I want but I think I'm going to add another one or two of these to that also so that's it guys that's the three blush palettes that I purchased with my 20% off at Ulta um I will be coming back at you with my 20% off a four purchase that I also made the same day but yeah guys that is it that's what I got at Ulta I give all three of these blushes so far as far as swatching them I give them a thumbs up I say go for it if you want them especially if you can get them at a discount but again the tart one $39 I buy this one every year over all of the blush palettes I always get the one like this and I've never been disappointed I really 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 like this and I like this too I wasn't for sure because I hadn't seen this in store I actually thought maybe it would be bigger and I was kind of disappointed when I first opened it but then when I actually opened it I was like um okay okay I can deal with that that's that's nice but this is $30 and this one is $30 so if you're going to just get one, I would say get the one with four blushes because you get more for your money. But I like this one too. I really, really do. I like this one a lot. But that's it guys. That is everything. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below. You're the first ones to know every time I post a new video. But yeah, that's it guys. That's everything that I have for you. If you are a subscriber, hit that notification bell because 
YouTube is not putting my videos in all of my subscribers' feeds anymore. I've had a few people um, contact me. I uh, thought I had quit making videos, and I'm like, uh, no, I still making them. They don't get they don't get my uh, videos anymore in their feeds. So, if you are a subscriber, hit that uh, notification bell also, and then you'll definitely know when I post a new video. But that's it, guys. That's everything that I have for you. I love you, and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.